Aaron Brooks, getting ready for Final X. Talk yeah. about your preparation and your excitement about this opportunity. I mean, clearly you have an opportunity that you've been looking forward to trying to do for a while. Yeah, um, I'm just grateful, man. This is um, something you pray about, you know, just, just elevating levels and what God has blessed you with and the gifts he's given me. So being able to, you know, elevate those and take it to a different stage, a bigger platform, and spread the gospel is um, just a blessing. So just happy, really happy to be here. Looking forward to tomorrow and just going out there and wrestling uh, hard for the Lord. Yeah, and it's a big stage because you're not just out there, you're with yourself. You've got an Olympic champion, somebody yeah. who uh, is probably someone that's worth be emulating, who's yeah. really done a good job in this. He's in your room. Yeah. Um, how do you approach that? I mean, because your time might be right now, right? Yeah. Um, I think it's... Uh, it's just sports, you know, and um, it's, I think it's why God tells us not to cling on to something like, you know, a trophy or a status or a title because it comes and goes, you know. So um, I think for David, he's had a great career regardless of what happens tomorrow. Um, I think for me, I've had a great career regardless of what happens tomorrow. So um, just knowing that that's not either of our identities, you know, and that uh, it doesn't define us. So just go out there and wrestling. If, if his time's up, you know, he has other things, his family, you know, if my time's up or if my time's just starting, you know, it's the same for me, you know, not clinging to that status because um, then one day I'm the, the older guy and the young guy yeah. comes in and, you know, it could, and then vice versa, you know, so um, just, just a blessing, like I said, and uh, praying for him as well. How much a better wrestler are you this year than, let's say, a year ago? I mean, and again, this is freestyle. You took a year yeah. off uh, to concentrate on freestyle before your college career, but yeah. uh, how much better are you now at, at this craft? Um, I think... I think the main thing, though, has just been outside the room. You know, I know that uh, God's always put this type of skill and talent in me, and it's the work ethic. But, um, you know, as I grew up a little bit and got on my own out to college, you know, the world kind of scraped me up a little bit, you know. And I think um, coming to Christ and really cleaning up my lifestyle and just living for Him, I think that's the biggest thing that you guys see now is just um, what He's done in me. He's always had it in me, but it's like a, a vase that was kind of foggy. You know, His light could never fully shine through until... I made that choice to, to go to him to get cleaned out and fully let it shine. So I think um, I go back and look at my old matches. I'm like, man, I was doing this at the age of 12, and I'm trying to redo it now. You know, so like God's always giving me this. It's just realizing um, that I got to make sure I'm a vessel to be used by him. Is this fun though too? I mean, oh yeah, it's a lot of work. You guys, yeah, yeah. you guys aren't successful by accident, right? Yeah, it's um, it takes it takes a lot of work, but I think um. I mean, what else are you gonna be doing in life? You gotta life's life's hard. You know, right. people are like life is hard. You gotta work. So like, uh, but working working is a good thing. You know, I'd rather be working than, than doing nothing. So uh, hard well, work's all, but it's not in vain. You know, it's for him. Well, and I'm looking forward to seeing how you compete tomorrow. A lot of people that have known you since you were younger yeah. are saying, "All right, Aaron's got a challenge today." Yeah, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. We, it'll uh, be interesting. It'll, it'll be very interesting. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate right, you chatting. Thank you. With God me, bless. Buddy. Thank you.